Hi everyone, it's Sherry. I hope that you are having a wonderful day. Y'all, today we're going to take two envelopes and two blank note cards, and we're going to make a mailable envelope mini album. Stay tuned. Y'all, welcome to my channel. I am so glad that you decided to stop by. Welcome to all of my new friends and to all of my new subscribers. Welcome back to all of my longtime friends and longtime subscribers. Thank you all so much for supporting me. I'm coming up on five years on YouTube and you guys have helped to make the five years a blast. So thank you. Well, I received a little thank you package in a pack of paper that I ordered recently. And they sent me four envelopes and four note cards, just blank note cards in this craft brown. And I didn't want to let it go to waste. So I started thinking, how can I divide this and turn it into a sweet little project? Well, y'all, here's what I did. I turned it into an envelope mini album. This is fully mailable. You can seal this flap and mail this just as it is or you can place it in one of the cellophane baggies if you want to keep it in its natural, beautiful state. But it's so easy to do. So I'm going to flip to my overhead camera to give you a closer look at this because y'all know what time it is. It's time to make it. All right, y'all, so here's what we're going to be making today. We're going to take two envelopes and two of the blank note cards and we're going to turn it into the sweetest little mailable mini. So here's the front. I didn't do anything to it because when you fold over, that's decorative enough for me. And then when you open it, it opens like this. I have a little place here to write a note. And then I have this spot here, and all I did was use a piece of ephemera to create a little tuckable. And it's a pocket, and it simply says fall, and I stacked it with some ephemera, and then we end up getting hello fall. And then here on the inside, we have room where you can place some three by four photographs. Then on this page, you can do some journaling if you want, writing little messages to the person that you might be giving this to. And then over here, I used another piece of the ephemera. It says market day to create this little tuckable here. So we can add some more goodies right here as well. Then I have a pocket here where we're able to put in a tag or a photo mat. And then we have another pocket right here. The beauty of this, we can slide this out and we have an independent little mini album that looks like this. Those pages that I just showed you. So this is very, very easy to do. I think that you guys are going to love it. I think the person that you give it to, they will love it. Y'all, this is great for any season, any reason, anyone. I think mine for fall, but this would be a great little birthday gift to give to someone. If there's an anniversary coming up, why not make it anniversary themed? Christmas, Hanukkah, all of that's coming up. So you can make these for that as well. So here's what we're going to need to make it. So for my project, I'm going to be using the items that were sent to me. I have two blank cards, and these measure four and a quarter by five and a half. Then I have two envelopes. My envelopes measure four and a half by five and three quarters. And then I have some mats that I've cut out for this project. I have four that measure four and a quarter by five and a half. And I have seven that measure four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And then I have three pieces of white medium weight cardstock that I have cut at three and three quarters by five. All right, so to get started, we need to do some joining. So we're going to join our two envelopes in this manner. So I'll take this flap and attach it to the back of this piece. So I'm going to take my tape runner and I'm doing this with tape and I'm just going to place some tape there. Then I'm going to place some tape along the very bottom. And now I'll take these two and I'm just going to join them. I'm making sure that I am not placing them on the fold because we want that fold. So then your jacket's going to look like this and it'll close like this. So now we have one big envelope. Now we want to take these two cards 
and we're going to join the two center pieces together like this. So I'll just take my tape and I am just going to add tape to one piece. Y'all, I'm trying another new tape runner, not too pleased with it. The tape does not come out in a straight line and it just clumps. So I'm going to use it because I paid for it, but this isn't one that I'll share with you guys because it's not a good one. So now we can take these and just stand them up. and stick them together like this. Now one thing I will say about the tape runner, it has a very nice stick on it, but the sticky doesn't come out easily, so it's just too much trouble. So I'm just going to get that nice and stuck. And now you're going to end up with your cards looking like this. Y'all, we're ready to start putting it together. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my mats that measure four and a quarter by five and a half and we'll place two on the outside and two on the inside. So I'm going to go ahead and just add my tape and we'll place it down like this. Then we'll take a piece for the back and place it down like that. I'm just going to place it side by side and you can see that my spine is intact. So I'm going to open the inside and we're going to take these two pieces that measure five and a half by four and a quarter and we're going to place them down here and here. But before I do, I want to go ahead and just punch a little opening with my oval punch and then I'll punch over here as well with my oval punch and now that I have my little tabs punched I'm going to take my tape and I'm going to add some tape to this part and over here and then I'll use my tape runner to just add tape like that. Then I'll take this piece and run some tape along the three sides. And now I can take this and place it down like that. And we'll do the same thing here. So I'll take my tape runner, add some tape, add some tape across here, and then tape. Then we'll take this piece and let's run some tape along three sides, the two sides and the bottom. And now we can take this one and put it in as well. So there is our jacket. Now I want to take the pieces that measure four and an eighth by five and three eighths, and we're just going to place them down on our book. So I am just going to add some tape, and I'm just going to go ahead and tape all of these so that we can place them down. All right, so I have my tape. We can go ahead and just place these down. And I will tell you guys that even though my full mark tape runners cost more, I am going to go back to purchasing those because between full mark and Tombow, those are the best tape runners on the market to me. And you get a lot on the roll and they come out very easily. When you spend all of your time trying to work and work and work, tape from the runner and you don't get very much and what you do get either jams or breaks it's simply not worth it so I am going to go back to what I know is a reliable product and that is my full mark runner 
So as soon as I run through all the tape runners that I bought, you guys will see me return to full mark. So all I'm doing here is just placing down my pages like this. actually needed to place down six. I think I said five, but it was actually six. So let's place those like that. So now we're going to take two of these pieces that measure three and three quarters by five. We're going to take the external booklet and let's go ahead and put it in that pocket so that we now know this is our center fold and I am going to place these down like that. So I'll add my tape and I'm going to place my tape like this. And we'll take this one and we'll place it right there. So now we have those center fold pages. We'll take this mat and it'll get tucked in the back right there. So we don't have to worry about tucking anything here. So y'all, the construction of this is complete. What I'm going to do now is truly just decorate it because that's really all that's left. We can add some pockets and whatnot, but we're basically going to spend our time decorating. So I am just going to add a little bit of tape to this piece of ephemera and I'm using the cut aparts that were left over from this sheet. I had a sheet of 12 by 12 cut aparts. I cut them apart and I am using what was left over so that I don't have to cut apart a new sheet of cut aparts. So we have this little ledger page right here. Then I'm going to create a little pocket using this piece of ephemera. So I'll be using some different ephemera packs to do my decorating. So I'm just going to add some glue to the bottom and I'll come up the side just a little bit. And we'll take this and we're going to place it right there and it says hello fall. So now we have a nice little spot where we'll be able to tuck in a few items. And I'm just going to take a little bit of glue and I'm going to position this pumpkin right there. I didn't put glue here because if you do have a picture, you'll be able to put it down and tuck it in. Then I have this pumpkin latte. We're going to put it right there. And I'm just going to add the glue to the top like that. And we'll place that right there. So again, if you have a photograph, you'll be able to just slide it right underneath. So then here on the back, I'm going to take this piece and we're going to put it down using some glue. It simply says autumn is calling and we're going to create that little tuckable by just taking this and placing it down like that. And we'll let all of these dry. And then on this page, I'm just going to create another journaling spot. Let's add some glue. Take this piece, put it right there. You can see that you have all these spots for being able to write messages or even lay down some stickers if you want. I'll take this one and put it right there. And now I can take a few of my little tuckables and put them right there. And we can come back to this pocket and just tuck in a few little cut aparts and ephemera pieces. Now I'm going to remove this because I do want to put something on the outside. 
and I think I'm just going to go with Hello Fall. We're going to keep it very simple. Y'all know that I tend to be a very simple decorator. So we're going to place that right there. Then we'll open this and let's find something to place right here. And so I'm going to take this one that says Hello Pumpkin and we're going to place it right there keeping it very very simple but when you do yours you can decorate it as much or as little as you want let's get that stuck and now we're going to take this and place it in the pocket and then one of the last things that I want to do is I want to go ahead and place that little acorn right there so that we'll have a pull for this little tag or journaling spot whatever you want to call it we're going to put it in this pocket like that and then I'm going to close this and we're going to take this piece that says fall is in the air and we're going to put it on. So now if you want it to seal it, you just seal the entire thing. Make sure that if you're mailing this in its natural state and not in a protective bag, that everything on it is sealed down properly. I sealed mine with tape in placing these down, but if I was mailing this and not putting it in a protective bag, I would actually go through and make sure that I had every corner nice and glued down because you don't want anything getting caught in a postal machine and ruining your beautiful, beautiful work. So that's it, y'all. That's how simple it was to make this. I can put something here on the outside if I want. I can even add something to the back. So I think for right now, I'm going to leave it as is. So let's do a final look. Here's the outside. Then we open and we have this section here. You can write little notes all over this. Sometimes I'll get questions about why would you place a piece like this in there? Because you can write a note on it. It doesn't have to be line for line. You can write a very independent freestyle note right on this piece. Then we have a pocket here that says, hello fall. And in that pocket, I've tucked a few pieces from that cut apart page, but you can put in whatever you want. You can even tuck a gift card in there if you want. Then when you open this page, we just have a very simple page where we can place some autumn themed pictures, cut aparts, whatever it is you want to put on here. You can write a message here, totally up to you. Then when we flip to the back, we have some journaling spots in case you want to capture a quick memory in here. Then here I added a little tuckable spot by just gluing down the ends of a piece of ephemera. And then we take our other pieces of those cut aparts and ephemera and we can tuck it underneath. And then here we have another pocket and I put one of the three and three quarter by five inch tags on the inside. So again, you have another place for a photograph if you want to put a photograph in here. And then we can seal it, mail it, and make someone's day. Y'all, these are so easy to do and they're just so fun and festive. Look at these. And what I really do like about this is you're able to take this, remove that. So it's like two projects in one because you can mail this separately and you can mail this separately. So totally up to you, but y'all, this started with just two envelopes and two blank note cards showing you that we don't need a whole lot to create something beautiful. I used some white cardstock, then I used less than one 12 by 12 cut apart page and some little pieces of ephemera. Truly, truly some economical crafting, but to look at it, you would not know it. This is absolutely beautiful and fun. So I hope that you have liked this really fun way of being able to take two envelopes and two blank note cards to create something spectacular like this. If you have, please hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, 
I'd love to have you join because having you join my channel really does help my channel to continue to be successful and we get to add another fun crafty family member to the channel. So come on, join this crafty online family. As always, my friends, please be safe, be kind, be the reason someone smiles today. Happy crafting and we'll chat later. Bye.